If someone has sent you this video, then congratulations, your existence is at least somewhat of a liability to the people around you. Snaps for you, your friends think that you're a bit of an asshole. So on their behalf, I hope that every time you're in a good mood, you step on a piece of Lego. I hope that your favorite TV show ends on a cliffhanger and then it just never gets renewed. I hope that you turn your laundry pink at a frequency that is so undesirable. God, I hope that every single time you get in an Uber, it's surge pricing. Genuinely, I hope your battery is just perpetually on 3%. I hope that every single movie you watch just has a really horrible audio balance so that you can barely hear the dialogue but then you go and turn it up and the next scene is loud enough to awaken Dante himself from the seventh circle of hell. So, I hope that every single time you get on a plane, there's a kid behind you that's kicking your seat and screaming. I hope that every single time you shave, you miss that little patch and you don't realize till you're out six hours later and you can't do anything about it. I hope that every single public toilet seat you go to sit on is just uncomfortably warm. I hope you finally win the meat tray at your local RSL, but then you get food poisoning from presumably incorrect storage of meat. <laughs> I hope that every single Coke that you drink from now on is just slightly too flat. Bitch, I hope you spill drinks on every single white shirt that you own. I hope your tax return is just shit. I hope that you hit every single red light for like the rest of eternity. But I hope some obtuse comes and sits next to you on public transport even though there is every other seat available. I hope that no matter how you tie your shoes, your shoelaces always come undone for no reason. Partially because mine always goddamn mcfreakin hell do. Speaking of photos of the exact same pair of shoes, go follow me on Instagram because I literally don't have any other shoes. It's just always docs. Don't think for a second I won't plug my Instagram everywhere. <laughs> God, I hope that every single time you try and like rip a price label off, it's that little bit too sticky so it comes off and it sticks to your hand and then it's just this half ripped off mess and then you realize, shit, I'm gonna need eucalyptus oil for this bitch. So then you go and check your cupboard to get the eucalyptus oil, you realize no fucking eucalyptus oil. So you run down to the chemist, but by the time you get there, you forget what you even went there for. So you leave with a pack of band-aids that you didn't even need. You drive home, you get home, you're like, fucking forgot the eucalyptus oil. <laughs> I hope that your washing machine eats just one of every single one of your socks. I hope the next time that you get pizza, you're in like a really good mood because you're getting pizza and then you put it on your passenger seat nice and safe. And then you have to slam your brakes on at some point when you're driving home and that shit just flies everywhere. I hope that every single table you sit at at a cafe is just a little bit wobbly. I hope you misjudge your distances a little bit and you park just a tiny bit too far away from the petrol pump so you have to do the reverse of shame, move your car back in. There's that obligatory old guy at the petrol pump adjacent to you and he's judging the hell out of you because he went legally blind 30 years ago and he can still park properly. I hope that every time you crack an egg you get that little bit of shell in the bowl and you're trying to get it out but the egg yolk's not really letting you grab hold of it properly and it's just a big pain in the ass, honestly. Look, not to be that bitch but I do hope hope you bite your tongue. I hope that every time you go to sleep and you get like really comfy, you just suddenly need to pee. I hope that sometime in the near future, you have to put together flat pack furniture. That's it. Flat pack furniture sucks more than you do. I hope that your phone's charging cable is just a few centimeters too short. Ooh, sirens. That's not good. I hope that your headphones always get caught on things at the most inconvenient moment. I hope that your camera's autofocus is constantly focusing on the wrong thing. How hilarious would it be if this whole video was out of focus? I hope that you try and roll your sleeves up for the aesthetic, but they always just keep falling down. I especially hope that's true if you're trying to wash the dishes and you're wearing long sleeves and they fall down in the water and you're just left with this little wet patch on your sleeve for the next hour. I hope that every time you're looking forward to leftovers that you kept in the fridge, someone's already eaten them by the time you got home. I I hope that every time you go into a shop, it's one of those really small, quiet shops and you have to make uncomfortable small talk with the person working there and then you just completely lose your ability to browse comfortably. I hope that you're constantly losing your car keys in that space in between the car door and your seat and you have to try and fit your hand into this crevasse that it's physically way too big to fit into. Dude, I hope your cereal's just always soggy. Unless you like soggy cereal, in which case I hope it's just a little bit too crunchy all the time. I hope that every single time you go to pass someone in the street, you have to do that like lefty righty shuffle because neither of you can decide how you're going to pass each other and you look like a pair of meerkats dancing, but like not cute. <laughs> I hope your remote runs out of batteries at a really shit time. I hope that every time you step on something wet, you're wearing socks. I hope this guy drives past your window every time you're trying to film. I hope that every time you put a pen in your pocket, it just leaks. I hope that you get a hot six pack of beers and you chuck it in your freezer thinking, oh, it's gonna cool it down quicker, but you forget about it and then it just explodes in there. 
that's happened to me once and that was not a good time. I hope you're always just a little bit unacceptably late to every single thing that you go to. I hope that every single time you go to say hello to someone, you just forget their name. I hope you lock yourself out of your house. I hope that you dress for cold weather and then when you get outside, you realize it's not as cold as you thought. So you're just a little bit uncomfortable for the rest of the day, but you can't do anything about it because it's too late to change. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that you always just feel a tiny little bit of sand in your bed, but you can't get rid of it. I hope that you're always one number off winning the lotto. God, that would be so annoying. So annoying. I hope that you get put on hold more often than you don't. I hope that all of your showers are just never quite warm enough. But I hope you get locked in a room with like 73 other people obnoxiously chewing with their mouths open. I hope that whenever you go anywhere, there's just like a row of people walking very very slowly in front of you. I hope that you're in a constant state of dropping everything that you hold and when you go and try and pick it up you just keep dropping it and I hope a hot person is watching you while you're doing that. I hope that your clothes get caught on door handles on like a fairly regular basis. I hope that every time you get angry someone tells you just calm down. I hope that every time you go to make hot dogs, you get like a pack of hot dogs and a pack of buns, but there's too many hot dogs and not enough buns. And I mean, you could go and just buy more buns, but then there'd be too many buns and not enough hot dogs. Like the ratio is just not quite right. It's truly an endless nightmare that I wish for you to live in. I hope that every time you're driving and you give way to someone that you don't have to give way to, they don't do the little, the little wave. So yeah, <laughs> take that. I hope that you accidentally click on ads every time you're browsing something on the internet. I kind of hope they're mine too, because Splendor tickets this year were f expensive. I hope that whenever you drop your remote all the batteries just fly out under the couch and like across the known universe as they do. I hope you lose your favorite hair tie. Hmm. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that you've like stretched just enough but not too much. Hope you lose it. I hope everyone drives like irritatingly close behind you in traffic. While we're on the topic, I hope that you get stuck in traffic everywhere you go. I hope that anyone that coughs near you doesn't cover their mouth. I hope that whenever you're on your phone or computer, there's someone watching your screen like just over your shoulder. I hope you forget all your passwords. I hope you accidentally eat coriander. I hope that every single one of your bills comes on the same day. I hope that every single photo frame on your wall is just slightly crooked. I hope your mum crops you out of her profile photo. I hope that every single time you leave an elevator someone tries to get on before they let you get off. It's just bad etiquette guys. I hope that someone leaves a shopping trolley in every single parking space you try and get into. I hope your toothpaste falls off your toothbrush quite frankly. I hope that you try and hold the door open for someone to be nice but they're a lot further away than you initially thought and then you're stuck in that awkward situation where they're like walk running to the door and you're just holding this door open like an idiot. I hope that your butt is like a little bit too hard and you try and spread it on your bread and you just end up ripping holes in your bread. Why can't anything just be easy? I hope you can never find the end of your sticky tape so you're left just spinning this roll around like an idiot trying to find the end to pick up. I hope, genuinely, I hope someone spoils the Game of Thrones finale for you. If you don't watch Game of Thrones and I hope someone ruins another one of your shows. I hope you stub your f***ing toe on a coffee table, quite frankly. So if you've made someone salty enough for them to send you this video, could you just like get your shit together? Thanks. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I upload just heaps. Just heaps, dude. <laughs> but I give shout outs every single video to random people who subscribe and put the notification bell on. I also give shout outs to people who follow me on Instagram and comment on my photos and are just nice. So insta shout outs go to D Ilhan3, Zoeen Fio Dovis, Geordie E, Kimmel123, <laughs> 143, sorry. Sarah Lynn, the, the, the. Anna RCO5, Blake Ronald45, and Charlie Page03. Thank you guys for commenting on my photo. YouTube shout outs come from my last video, which will be linked below if you want to watch it. They go to send help. <laughs> You okay? Read more. You guys are really getting creative with the usernames here. Zara Morris, Angelica Rowland, Astron McBloy. Jesus, I don't, honestly don't even know what. Astron McLilby Boy. <laughs> yeah, look, that's as good as it's gonna get. Angel Dashim, Grace Thomas, Lily Miller, and Catherine McLeod. Except it's not Catherine McLeod, it's Catherine McDonald. And Sawyer Milk 93 thank you guys for commenting on my last video and subscribing and all that good stuff. So as usual, I don't know how to end the video, but I did this with my hair while I was waiting for a single thought to pass through my brain. And how much does it look like I'm going to start churning my own butter? <laughs> I need, I need dairy cows. I need a raven. I need, I need a sword. I need a sword. Running a little bit low on swords at the moment, but I do have this, which is pretty stabby. Not gonna lie, this is pretty stabby. Could be medieval. I don't know why you'd need this to churn butter. Don't know why you'd need a raven either. This is, surely this is where the video needs to end. <laughs>
mess up. This is genuinely what we're dealing with. So whilst I was editing this video, I realized you guys give me a lot of shit for not having my shoes tied up, except allow me to direct you to, oh, what's this? Exhibit A, shoes are tied up. Yes, it is from last year. Let's not look at the dates. Oh, exhibit B, are those shoes that are, yeah, they're tied up. Exhibit C, is that, are those shoes? Oh, and they're tied up. I don't want to like, really drive this point are those shoes that are tied up? yes they are i wonder can oh and they are this one is in the process of being tied up <laughs> bitch might be doing karate but are her shoes and they are oh and yep they're tied up are they tied up they oh well, we won't look at that but this one first of all get a load of those pants second of all shoes are tied up that's definitely tied up so look i'm not demanding an apology i'm just saying oops then that and i rest my case <laughs>